can you use flex pipe or flexible PVC for plumbing swimming pools? I'm going to get blown up in the comments for this for sure. There is a, a lot of people have a lot of strong opinions on whether you can use flex pipe or whether you should be using only poly pipe or PVC pipe at this point for building swimming pools. And the reality is, is that if you look into the coldest areas, like I'm in Ontario, Canada, 95% of the swimming pools that get built, built here in Ontario, Canada, use flexible PVC for better or for worse. First of all, it's not pipe, it's technically speaking hose. And the operational uh, pressure or the maximum operational pressure of the pipe is so much lower than what a rigid PVC would be. I think it's something like maybe 60 or 80 PSI maximum in inch and a half flex PVC versus 330 PSI maximum in rigid PVC. So it's nowhere near to as robust as rigid PVC. However, in cold climate areas, shatter resistance is important. Shatter resistance is, in, especially in cold weather, is really the Achilles heel of rigid PVC. And that is the reason why people use flex PVC here. Just because it's more forgiving to the freeze and thaw cycles that we experience in cold climate areas, it's not perfect. The striations within the pipe themselves are a detriment to the flow dynamics and the pipe can crush itself flat or it can react to chlorine. Uh, like for example, if you have flex pipe near to a skimmer and you keep chlorine in your skimmer basket, which you shouldn't, but many people do, you can find that the flex pipe itself will just, it'll grow and expand and eventually it'll seal itself off. And that's a big expensive repair job. And generally speaking, I think most pool builders detest flex PVC. They hate it. And you'll hear some really, really strong opinions about it online, like never, ever, ever use it. And I totally understand where those people are coming from because termites will chew through it and it can just crush. And as I said, it reacts to chlorine and it's just, it's just not good. It's a compromise in every way, except I guess you could say it's easy to use. You just roll it out and drop it in the hole. It couldn't get any easier than that. But as I said, it's a total compromise. And while it's something that is common in the industry, I don't necessarily endorse it. You can, people do build with rigid PVC or poly pipe or other options where it's not flexible PVC. So there are other options available, but I think a good way to describe it would be a budget swimming pool installation in a cold climate area is almost certainly going to end up with flexible PVC because it would cost more and take more work to run rigid PVC in such a way that you could potentially try to protect it from freeze and thaw or from shattering. And that just, that doesn't exist for budget pool installations. It's all about the bottom line and keep the sticker shock down because new swimming pools are pretty darned expensive. I think pretty much everyone knows. So if you want to plumb a swimming pool with flexible pipe, Yes, it is an accepted practice industry-wide in cold climate areas. And when you hear somebody really, really coming down hard on flex PVC, ask them where they're located. They're probably in the southern USA. If I lived there, I sure wouldn't use flex PVC. If I lived in the Pacific Northwest or any place at all, other than the coldest climate areas right away, definitely 100% not using flex PVC. I'm using rigid PVC. Schedule 40, if I'm concerned about, uh, you know, ground movement, I might go with a, a Schedule 80 PVC just because it's a thicker wall and it's a stronger product. And so that's that's where I double down on my resistance against movement in the ground and shattering PVC pipes. But in the coldest climates, minus 30, minus 40, you know, above that, I mean, flex PVC has its advantages. It's going to con It's going to take that movement in the ground more than rigid PVC will. And that's why we see it so commonly. So I, I guess that's not really an answer. It's somewhat of a non-answer for can you plumb pools with flex PVC? Like you, you can, it's actually pretty common within the industry, but nobody loves the stuff. That's for sure. And everything above grade should absolutely be rigid PVC. But if you live in a cold climate and you're budget conscious and your hands kind of being forced, it is an accepted practice to use flexible PVC for building swimming pools. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.